thinking about making your own calculation form, with Fluent Forms, it's easier than you think. From simple calculations to complex formulas, handle any mathematical task aligned with your need using Fluent Forms. Let's say you want to add, divide, or multiply two or more numeric values. Fluent Forms is all set with its numeric field for you to search this. Make your move and take as many fields as you require. Name your fields by changing their element label and fixing placement. To give users a hint, fill the placeholder with some examples of what you expect them to enter. And if you want everyone to fill it out, make it required. You need to show the results, right? Add another numeric field and change its label. Now, if you have to enable the calculation, and here comes the tab to insert the formula to calculate given values. Can you see the calculator sign in the corner? Give it a go. The name attributes of the previously added input field have come in front. Select one after another, place them into the calculation box as per your need, and done. Now it's waiting for your users to receive the inputs. Provide entries and get the calculated value. Just like that, you can craft a price calculator or a form to conduct simple tests effortlessly. Your calculator can perform any mathematical operations, but what if you start receiving unwanted entries? Well, you might want to receive entries only from a specific group of people or within a defined range. In case you require to do so, numeric fields will have your back. Simply define the minimum and maximum value and your job is done. After setting the range, if anyone tries to submit a form that does not fit within the given boundary, won't be able to submit the form. For user-friendly interaction, an error message will guide your users. Interesting, isn't it? And in case you belong to research or engineering fields, sometimes you might want to go beyond basic math. In such instances, you don't have to worry. Based on your requirements, you can use log, root, and even trigonometric functions to get your job done. Need assistance? A well-crafted documentation for the numeric calculation waiting just one click away from you. Access it whenever you need. Make your mind on which function you need to use, set it up in the calculation box, and let the form handle the rest. Clear and concise. So calculating any kind of function can never be an issue now. Well, time to spice things up with a real calculator. Let's start with an easy one first, the BMI calculator. So to calculate BMI, you must know the height and weight of the person. This is why take one field for the height and another one to represent the weight. You can tweak each option here. If you want to make your form look more like a professional calculator, you must add prefix and suffix labels to these fields. Do it or not, it's completely up to you. To show the calculated value, you can use custom HTML field, but here just to keep things simple, let's grab another numeric field. Make necessary changes to the added field and then head to the calculation field settings. Enable the calculation to drop the equation into it. According to BMI's formula, first take the weight and then divide it by the square of height. With that, we're all set to calculate the BMI. Let's find out mine. Once the necessary information is provided, you will get to know your BMI straight away. That was an easy one. What if the difficulty level increases? Let's say you are a financial support provider and need a mortgage loan calculator to help your customers. Before starting, have a look at the formula of defining the monthly EMI for the mortgage loan. With so many variables, complexity increases. But trust me, with blend firms, complexity can never stop you. For a calculation, you will need three things. P for principal amount, R for the interest rate, and N for the loan term in years. To get this done, pick numeric fields to present each variable in the equation. And by now, you know how to add fields and personalize them, don't you? Here you go. We are ready with our input fields. In case you are taking a down payment, you can take another field. You have the data. Now all you need to place them properly in the calculation expression. Let's see how you can do it. Wait, after your calculation, you might end up with either an integer or a decimal number. If you want to keep all integers in the calculated value, remember to use round, floor, or seal before the formula. 
That's it. Make it live and whoever wants to learn about the monthly EMI of his loan can do it easily. As simple as it can be. Not just the calculation, you can do many more things using Fluent Forms. To know more about amazing features, use cases and insights, stay connected with us and don't forget to share your views in the comment box. Until then, keep building firms fluently with Fluent Forms.